Hello and welcome to Agile Tech Channel. My name is Christian Rehling, I'm Senior Systems Engineer at Agile Technology. And in this video, I want to show you how to handle firmware updates with our universal management suite. What are we going to see in this video? First, I will show you how to get updates with our management server or directly from our website. Then I will show you how to assign the updates to thin clients or folders in your structure. And the last step will be how to roll up the updates you have assigned to the clients. How to start with our firmware updates. To get firmware updates into our universal management server is really easy. The first step that we can do is just right click universal firmware update and check for new firmware updates. In this case, the universal management suite server has to have a connection to the internet. Our update process is searching for all firmwares that are available for the used firmwares in your environment. And here you see we have con a converted device with our operating system. And now we can say include, search for the correct firmware version and click download. Now the download is starting and it will automatically create all necessary information for the firmware update and include it to the management server. The next possibility is to manually download our firmware updates from our website. Just go on myigel.biz and now we have the possibility to download firmware for the thin clients or in our case we will take a download for the desktop converter. On our desktop converter we have the folder updates and then we go to version 5 and you see we have all firmware versions available here. I will just download version 508. After we have downloaded the firmware we can just right click universal firmware update and take the point firmware archive zip file to universal firmware update. Here we can select where we downloaded the firmware version, select open. We can give the firmware name and we have to select where to put the firmware in our file transfer. So select UMS file transfer and say open. Now it will unzip the firmware update and will put it to our web server that is built in in our management server. If the firmware is uploaded to our web server, you see that here are the information about the firmware update specified which user has access to the firmware update, on which hosts and with what target URL the client will find it. And now it's really easy. You can just drag and drop the information about the firmware like you do it with a profile. So you could choose to put it directly into the Linux directory, for example, and say, OK, I want to give the information now to the thin clients. Now all the thin clients in the environment here will give, get the information about a new configuration. And then we will just write the information about the firmware update to the thin client. But the firmware update is not started at the moment. To start the firmware update, we have to manually start the process. We can do it for all clients if we want to, if we right click Linux, and then we have the possibility to start the update or to update the systems on a shutdown. But we also could do it here directly on a thin client. You see the firmware update information is sent to the thin client. He gets some new information and he wants to do the update can just click OK and then the firmware update is starting. Our firmware update process is a little bit special. We will only update the files that are really needed for the update. We will not roll out the whole package to the thin clients. You see the update process is telling us now it's the desktop before it was a system and then the clients that we, they are active and used um, will be updated and after this step all the different parts of the firmware are updated if there are changes to related to the version before. 
after all the updates are done, the system will do a reboot. And after the firmware update is done and the reboot is done, your system is up and running again. All the configuration you did to the system is working like before, so you don't have to reconfigure the device after the firmware update. Maybe you want to go back to an older version. Normally it's not a problem to also do a firmware downgrade for our update process. It doesn't matter if it's an up or downgrade. So we will just add an older firmware to our management server and then we will roll this out to another client. First I will remove the old firmware information. I've put it on Linux, just delete this. And then I will take the old firmware We'll put it to the thin client and say, okay, give him the information now. If we take a look to the thin client, we see now he has 508100. And now I will do the firmware update or downgrade to 507. You just click OK. And you see, it's the same process. It doesn't matter from which version to which version. After we are doing this update, the thin client will have 507. So let's take a look. I will just refresh the information about the system. And you see here, it's gone back to 507. So now you have seen how easy it is to deploy a firmware update to the thin clients. And take a look to the next video for seeing how to work with views and jobs to automate the process for your whole infrastructure. Thanks for your attention. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our pre-sale support or take a look to the e Agile eDocs.